Hello, welcome. We're going to be doing um, the first video of my second trimester pregnancy series, and I thought the perfect way to start would be um, preventing diastasis recti. It's something that if you're in your second trimester, you've probably heard of it. So this is going to be really helpful for preventing it and just getting more familiar with like what it is exactly. So um, the one thing that you will need is something to sit on, a folded up towel or blanket should be fine. And um, go ahead and grab that and let's get started. If you don't have time to watch right now, go ahead and save for later and just do this whenever you get a chance. To get started, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what diastasis recti is. So it's actually the separation of the rectus abdominis. So um, it's one thing to like explain to you guys what this is and it's another thing to actually like have that mind-body connection. Um, just bear with me, I am gonna spend a few minutes really talking here, so if you can just stay with what I'm saying, it's gonna make a lot of sense. Um, so, you know, your whole, like, the whole belly, your the structure of your belly changes when you get pregnant, especially in your second trimester, you start to feel the changes a little bit more. So um, it's really, like, really important that you learn how to do the right core work, but it's not what, you know, maybe core work you've done is going to look like. Um, and initially it might feel a little bit boring. I know that's how I felt, but doing this kind of work is like essential for just keeping this part of your body really strong throughout pregnancy. And it's going to make, um, after delivery, like a lot easier if you can do this kind of work and keep this area strong. So I'm going to go ahead and explain, um, so there's these two muscles right here and what happens is as your belly grows it kind of stretches this way naturally and it's really healthy to have some space in between these muscles but when that space becomes exaggerated um, that's when it gets you know not so healthy so um, with that said that's kind of like a basic way to describe it um, let's go ahead and kind of really start tuning in with our body and feeling what I'm talking about. So um, I'm going to really stay focused on proper breathing technique. Um, it's, it's like the most important thing when you're doing this kind of abdominal work. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'd like you to... Go ahead and find a position that you're comfortable with and just root down through your sit bones. Um, allow your hips to relax and allow your spine to lengthen. And um, so usually when you're taking a yoga class, you're encouraged to do belly breathing. I don't want you to do that. So when you get into your second trimester, you wanna do what's called umbrella breathing. So you want to be focused on breathing into the back of your lungs and you want to kind of think of um, filling filling up your lungs about two-thirds so you want to um, really expand in all directions but you want to stop just below just above the belly so just um, about where the rib cage ends that's really important when you're doing this kind of work so let's go ahead and just tune in and you can close your eyes and let's just start tuning in to our breath a little bit more. So keeping those hips relaxed, I'd like you to keep your spine long and shoulders relaxed and um, let's breathe in and out through our nose and practice that umbrella breathing. Let's start with an exhale and go ahead and inhale really allowing your back rib cage to expand and exhale and just keeping your abdomen soft and relaxed and on your inhale really allowing the abdomen to fully relax and on your exhale starting to feel your abdomen move closer to your spine I'm going to say that again. So as you inhale, allowing your abdomen to really relax. And on your exhale, allowing your 
abdominals to move closer to your spine, really like hugging your baby. And this is gonna take a little while to really have that mind-body connection. I know it took me a little bit of practice, but it's very empowering when you actually start to feel this in your body and you feel like you have control over these muscles because it's gonna help you so much throughout your entire pregnancy if you can start early. So um, now that we've kind of tuned into our breath, I'm gonna explain um, the kind of abdominal work that we're gonna do. And it's not your typical like planks and crunches. Those are things that you really want to avoid for the most part if you're working on um, preventing diastasis recti. So um, everybody's a little bit different. Planks can be okay sometimes, it just depends. But overall, I would just be really careful. Um, and I'll just say for stationary planks, it can be fine, but anytime that you're moving your legs or bringing your knees in, um, you know, just be really careful there. So now that we've focused on our proper breath breathing technique, I'm gonna explain how we're actually going to work our abdominal muscles in a very healthy way. So as you inhale, you're letting the abdomen expand and relax, and it's on your exhale that you're doing the main work. So I'm gonna just explain. So as you inhale, you're letting the belly expand, and as you exhale, you're gonna feel these abdominal muscles. It's like you're, you can use your hands to even help teach your body. So as you exhale, these muscles are moving in towards each other and you wanna keep your spine nice and long. So you're hugging these abdominal muscles in towards each other and towards the spine at the same time. And on the inhale, just relax that abdomen. Go ahead and do a few at your own pace. As you inhale, relaxing the abdomen and on the exhale, these muscles are moving in towards each other. Really squeeze. I really like keeping my hands here because I feel like they're just great teachers for really having that mind-body connection. Go ahead and do two more at your own pace. Really squeeze at the top of that exhale. And one more. I promise, even if this feels a little bit boring, if you can spend two, three minutes a day with this, you're gonna notice a huge difference. Um, it's definitely worth putting some attention on. So one more thing that I'd like you to incorporate when you're doing this kind of abdominal work is if you can really draw in your pelvic floor, there's a lot of really important abdominal muscles that are a lot lower here. And if you can combine that attention of bringing these muscles in towards each other, really drawing in the pelvic floor at the same time, as you exhale, that's it's so good for you. So let's go ahead and take a few breaths. It's not gonna really look any different, but let's just go ahead and start with an inhale, relaxing. And on your exhale, really draw in that pelvic floor as much as you can. And relax. Inhale, let's do two more. Squeeze and relax. And one more. Drawing that pelvic floor in as these muscles move in towards each other. Squeeze and relax. All right, so let's go ahead and move into some of our stretching positions. And I'm going to teach you how to do that same kind of breath abdominal work in different positions. So your hips are probably a little tired from sitting, so go ahead and 
and just shake it out a little bit. And let's go ahead and stretch the hips a little bit. You can bring the soles of your feet together. This is really, um, this is a great position for preparing for labor. So it's never too early. So bound angle, just go ahead and lengthen that spine. And I, you just, as you move into your second trimester, there's still so much that you can do, but you wanna be careful of really twisting is out, no twisting. And also as you lengthen, just be careful that you're not um, overstretching these abdominal muscles, but you still wanna keep that integrity of the spine. So keeping that spine long, go ahead and hinge at the hips and just allowing these hips to open and just let your abdomen soften. And you can practice that deep umbrella breathing. So just putting the deep belly breathing aside for the remainder of your pregnancy. And we're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds and just see if you can let the back of your rib cage expand. You inhale. Let's take about 30 more, actually 15 more seconds. Be fine. And just uh, tune in to your right and left hip and notice if one side feels tighter. Just let go of any gripping in your abdomen or your groins. And let's come on out. Coming into our wide legged forward fold. So if your, um, the, your hamstrings, calves feel really tight, just getting a little more height can really help. You can grab another blanket if you need to. You can also bend your knees a little bit if you need to. So lengthening through our inner thighs and rotating from the inner knee to the outer hip, keeping those thighs really engaged here. Lengthen that spine, keeping the belly soft, and go ahead and hinge forward, not allowing those inner thighs to collapse too much. And again, just notice if you're gripping in your abdomen and relax, but keep that integrity of the legs rotating from inner knee to outer hip. And holding this for good 20 seconds. Moving a little deeper, hinging at the hips, not just collapsing forward. About two more breaths here. Let's come on out and go ahead and um, you can bring those legs in and let's move into cat cow position. So go ahead and get rid of your support and you can stack your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists. This is really um, a very stable, healthy way to get some nice movement in the spine. Go ahead and inhale rounding the spine and exhale rolling those shoulders back just careful of um, hardening your abdomen as you open do about three or four at your own pace just moving with your breath And one more. And coming into a neutral position, coming into tabletop. Sometimes we can overarch. So this is a great way to explain 
um, what not to do during pregnancy. So as you move into your second trimester, your belly just naturally, it's like you just want to let it all hang out. That's kind of how it feels. And this is very exaggerated, but one of the healthiest things that you can do is draw. So draw those muscles in towards your spine, tucking the tailbone in. And as you go through pregnancy, as you're walking around, just be really careful of that sway back. It's gonna be a lot harder to keep a healthy position in the low spine. And this is a great position. It's a great teacher for that healthy position of the low back. So tucking the tailbone in. And we're gonna practice our abdominal work in this position. So if you'll remember, it's on your inhale, you're relaxing the ab abdomen, and on your exhale, you're drawing those muscles in towards each other and towards the spine. And do a few at your own pace, drawing the pelvic floor muscles in at the same time. And as you relax your abdomen on the inhale, keep that healthy position of the spine. Do about three more. Really squeeze at the top of your exhale. Drawing those pelvic floor muscles in as much as you can. Squeeze. And one more. Squeeze and relax. Coming into child's pose, go ahead and bring your big toes towards each other and knees nice and wide apart, maybe a little bit wider than usual to accommodate your growing belly. And you can just rest your head on the floor, allowing those hips to move towards your heels. And let's just take a few uncontrolled breaths here just allowing the breath to happen relax your shoulders your face all right so let's explore our last position so let's go ahead and lay on our back So I'm, I'm really guiding you as to how to properly engage your abdominal muscles in different positions. And if you can get in the habit throughout the day of practicing proper body mechanics with proper breathing, it's just very powerful stuff. So in this position, so because we're in our second trimester, we don't want to spend a lot of time on our back, but it's, you know, overall it's safe to spend a few minutes here. So in this position, you can kind of feel that arch in your low back exaggerated. So go ahead, we're going to practice that pelvic tilt. So I want you to just scoop your pelvis and press that low back against the wall. This is going to engage your abdominal muscles in a very healthy, safe way when you're pregnant, your lower abdominals. So where you might be doing plank, drawing the knees in, doing mountain climbers, you're working the same muscles, but in a healthy way, safe way, go ahead and release. And go ahead and tilt your pelvis, squeeze, and release. And do about two or three more at your own pace. You can draw those pelvic floor muscles in at the same time if you really want to challenge yourself. Pressing through the feet. And release. And one more, squeezing. Go ahead and scoop your pelvis. Pressing through the feet, draw those pelvic floor muscles in. 
and release. And go ahead and just take a breath. Just take a little break. And so go ahead and scoop your pelvis, engaging the rectus abdominis more along with these lower abs. So keeping that pelvic tilt on your exhale, I want you to focus on these muscles moving in towards each other. And as you inhale, just let yourself relax, but keep those lower abdominals engaged. Keep that pelvic tilt and do about three or four at your own pace. Drawing your pelvic floor muscles in as you exhale, squeezing those abdominal muscle, muscles towards each other. As you inhale, allowing your abdomen to relax, but keeping your pelvic tilt. And as you exhale, really bringing those muscles in towards each other, drawing your pelvic floor in and keeping your lower abdominals engaged. One more. Squeeze. And release and go ahead and just relax so I know that was probably a lot to a lot of information to process I hope that that was helpful and that is it for our practice today if you enjoyed this video you should check out our app yoga plus there's some really great content on there worth exploring and I look forward to seeing you there welcome to yoga plus courses available from pupil to yogi Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.